Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makata Man at YouTube with another modeling video. Today we'll be doing a tutorial and suggestion video on painting uh, thrusters, uh, the little rocket bells that um, fossil fuels or energy is projected out to project your uh, robot throughout space or on the uh, ground. I normally like thinking of uh, fossil fuels and whatnot and having all black um, carbon building up all over the place and all of your discolored uh, brassy metals, silver metals, whatnot. So we're looking into that. Uh, not all uh, science fiction subjects have this uh, sort of effect. A lot of them just got unexplained futuristic technology and they sort of fly around without leaving a carbon footprint. This would be looking into doing uh, dirty, unenvironmentally friendly model kits. Pre-preparation for this uh, tutorial, uh, colour separation is important. I've got these pieces uh, primed and painted in gloss black ready to receive uh, metallic paint. Uh, the lacquer black, uh, Tamir enamel black is also acceptable. This method requires airbrushing. Uh, the thrusters are propped up on alligator clips. Uh, we'll be using uh, the Alclad line of uh, paints. The major uh, colours is a personal choice. There's uh, quite a few interesting effects you can get. I like uh, copper. Uh, you can use uh, silver, chrome, bronze. Uh, if you're very good at uh, gradient shading, a mixture of a few of them will look absolutely amazing. And I'll show some of those sort of effects at the end of the video. Uh, exhaust manifold or jet exhaust is also excellent from Alclad. The other manufacturers do a cheaper variation. I just like the Alclad version. And uh, just a soot or metallic black or um, if you're very desperate just matte black. So usual airbrushing uh, skills deployed. Uh, Alclad so try not to waste a drop, very expensive stuff, clean airbrush, low PSI, 15, 20 at max, and just uh, very gently in a tight uh, grouping not to waste paint, uh, colour it in and spray into the top, uh, even coat of course. If uh, done correctly, should look like this, uh, very shiny, very appealing, even um, a vehicle straight out of the factory will be tested, so nothing is uh, this uh, perfect, even though it looks uh, very, very cool. We're going to do some more playing. Next, we're using the jet exhaust. A little practice on the hard surface. We want to get a very small gradient uh, grouping dot. We're going to be spraying that effect on the inside of the bell, going from clean brass into a dark, dirty, burnt metal. I apologise, my hand does get in the way during this uh, shot. But as you can see, as I'm swirling it around the light, the uh, grading effect on the inside is very interesting, and it does look like there is some sort of uh, evidence of uh, combustion and exhaust of uh, carbon escaping from that uh, bell. Last shot is uh, soot, or matte black. I did the same thing, tuned my airbrush to get a very fine dot and I shot a very small dot and just coloured in the very bottom, very back of the uh, thruster where the initial flame comes out, going for a three-tone blackening effect to the original copper colour. Now, all of this work has been done for my uh, Drasi HGUC kit. This uh, model is for a special group build and it's uh, extra uh, weathered and uh, very, very filthy. So taking away from uh, what we learnt, I uh, grabbed these pieces and done um, a lot more work that has not been displayed in this video. The video focuses on the uh, inner bell, but having a play of uh, shading with uh, very small pieces, uh, go out and experiment and try putting dirt and soot in other places that you think would look cool or uh, where um, combustion would affect, distort and discolour metal around the place. This sort of work uh, does just give you a little more dimension and interest and uh, kind of create your model kit to an actual scaled down version of the real thing. It's uh, really small touches like this.
that can tell different kits apart when in a competition display or uh, whatnot. But at no stage you should feel uh, pushed to go uh, this far in um, modelling, of course. Now, with uh, these uh, brass um, copper pieces I've got here, besides the technique done in the video, I did a little shading on the very top tier with the jet exhaust and again at the very very tip of the bottom and re-accenting the middle with uh, copper again to get that gradient look. The very bottom was uh, painted with silver and the very tip was uh, dry brushed with uh, silver as well giving this um, a lot more exterior weathered look which isn't that much important but the interior of the bell especially on a stand or in a position it does give a very interesting effect when people look at the rear of your model. This is also more supporting information from my series Honing Your Airbrush Skills. Once you're able to make a very small tight uh, gradient line you can do more interesting fun and playful uh, airbrushing uh, like so and to tell the truth uh, the majority of the work on these thrusters was only um, two hours mostly work on constantly switching the paints and uh, cleaning out the uh, brush. None of this was hard uh, whatsoever. Quite fun and enjoyable. In this uh, new shot uh, these are some hand painted thrusters and a little shading work done via airbrush as there's all sorts of little thrusters throughout and around model kits that are not exactly external. And these weren't uh, too hard to do. They were shading on already existing coloured and painted areas so there's not much room for uh, error but not much stress at all. The um, biggest advice to take away from this video is uh, once you got and mastered more control over your airbrush you can have more fun and interest and activities uh, such as uh, this and just exploring uh, the world of your model and the effects in telling a story. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time I hope you have uh, found this uh, video helpful and as always on this channel there will be our weekly um, updates and uploads including reviews and tutorials. Catch you guys later and of course if you ever have any questions drop them down below. I do frequent the comment sections often.